Hello everyone! In the fourth chapter of educational videos of creating bots by using Aradbot, I wanted to teach you the different types of buttons. Before entering to the panel and showing you the buttons, we want to see the different types of these buttons and how they work. We enter to the Telegram and then into the bot we created in chapter 3. I push the start button and as you see the bot we made has a group of default buttons. And these buttons are just because of the theme we selected and if you do remember we choose the store theme. Buttons you see here are the same as each other in appearance and they don't have any differences but it's possible that some of them show some contents, texts and gives files or videos and some of them gets data from your users and also there are a group of buttons that are default in the system. I mean they always do routine things which I'll show you in the default button section in the panel. The example can be news button or sign up button in the bot which do a routine job that you just can edit the text in them. Well for example the store info button is a button which by clicking on that you see a text, a map and again a text. Or in product button you see a sticker a text and a series of buttons or submenus that by clicking on them next contents and other submenus and pictures appear and for going to previous step use back button all the buttons which the entities are showing you a text a file or a content are called basic buttons In this panel, basic buttons are buttons which you by using them can show texts or any types of files or even you can send the map to them. The same as the store info button that does this for your users. Basic buttons can have submenus. The submenus can be any kinds of buttons. For example, order button is a basic button which shows a text to the user and own two submenus. One of the submenus is form builder button and one of the submenus is a default button with the title of contact us that your users can ask questions online before buying products. Order now button is a form builder button. Form builder button doesn't have any differences in appearance in contrast with basic buttons but it's different in performance. Unlike basic buttons, form builder buttons instead of just showing the content, they ask questions from your users that your users by answering them complete a form of information for you. This form can be a sign up form, order form or any other kinds of forms. The bot in this step asks me my gender. I choose my gender, it wants me the product's code. For example, I enter this code. Now it wants me to send a picture of the product I want to buy. Or I can skip this step. Now it asks me the size and I enter 32 as an example. It wants me the address. I type test for the address. And finally, it shows me confirmation which by clicking on yes option, my order will be sent to the libel person of the sale of the store. That sellable can be you yourself or one of those operators or assistants whom you have set in the panel. After clicking on the yes button, the bot shows the default text that you have set to your users. So the form builder buttons are the buttons which you can ask your questions in this way. In these questions, you can get text, pictures, locations or any other things you want from your users. Poll buttons are a group of buttons which you can create with this panel. These buttons are similar to form builder buttons in function. The only difference is that your users, after answering these questions, cause your panel shows diagrams based on your users' answers.
Here it has asked me that which of the products do I like more. I choose shoes. Here it asks me that whether I am satisfied with the quality of the products or not. I answer yes. In this part, it wants me to leave a comment. Well, I choose no ID option and finally, by clicking on the yes button, I have done a poll for the store. Well, I can say that I have told you a brief explain about the buttons. Let's go to our slide and if there are still buttons that I haven't explained, I will tell you. I mentioned basic buttons. We saw the form builder buttons in the bot and we got how they work, also customer color button. Individual buttons that we haven't mentioned are a group of buttons which you can create them by using this panel and as it's clear by its name, anyone by clicking on this button gets its own content. Something like a paycheck that we can carry out this by these buttons. Okay, it's time to go in the panel and check out how we can create these buttons. Well, as I mentioned in the previous video, you by using this part or this part can see your bot's buttons. I choose my bot here. And if you notice, you can see the list of the buttons which have been created for the bot in this part. Main group is the start buttons, which contains the store info button, products, order, and all of the other buttons. Here you can edit the buttons, watch the details, or delete them. And if you want it, you can insert a new button. By clicking on this option, you can choose one of the different types of the buttons. Basic buttons, form builder buttons, or poll buttons. You can see individual buttons in higher versions, and if you would like, you can use them. Imagine we want to create a button by title of About Bot. Naturally, this button just wants to show a content to the users, so we can use basic buttons. I choose this option. In this part, it wants a title from you. I type About. In this part, it asks you that what is the parent button of this button. I want it to be put in the main menu, and if I want, I can choose one of the sub-menus. In this part, you enable or disable this button, and here you can choose this, that this button can be used by registered users or all of the users. This button is just for creating a limitation for buttons. There are additional settings that you can use them. But two points are important here. When a button is pushed, you can replay more than one content. A text, dozens of pics, or a couple of videos you might want to use for replay. So your users, for not getting so much data in the same time, you can define the number of those answers when the user pushed the button. Then your user can click on the continue button to see the remaining content. Here you can select the number of the buttons in a row. Also, it's good to know that if you would like, you can enable the auto layout submenu in the panel. So your boss will do automatically arrange the buttons based on the contents of the buttons. Here you can select default submenus. The buttons that I mentioned at the beginning of this educational video. Some buttons like news, contact us, invite friends, store or bot sign up. That can be the submenus of the buttons you are creating now. For example, I want to have the invite friends buttons in About Us submenu. In Content Type section, you got to choose that what content can be seen by your users after clicking on About button. I want the text this bot made by aradbot.com to be shown.
I can add this text. If you want your button have submenus for itself, you can insert a submenu for it. I want to see a submenu after pushing on about button, which I call that menu one. And I choose the basic type, then I add that. I push on the add button contents and I select save or edit button. As you see, the About button has been created and it has a sub-menu that you got to first active that, then click on the Edit button. If you want, you can edit the contents of the button. Let's go to the bot to check out the changes of our bot. Just push on one of the buttons and you can see that the About button has been added to our buttons. By pushing on this button, you see that the Menu 1 button as a submenu and Invite Friends button that we selected that as a default button is exists. Well, I want to see a file in addition to a text after I push the About button. I want to teach an important point about support team here. We enter into the About button. I want to show a picture to my users in addition to this text. I choose Upload the File button and select the pic I want. As you see, it shows an error which it says that you haven't inserted an operator so far now and you must insert an operator for your bot so it would be able to upload your pics. What we're gonna do now is First, I enter into the bot item in the bots management. Select edit icon. We shall see what the password we have set for our bot is. We copy the password with two exclamation points. Again, we enter into our bot. In our bot, we should type slash management. Well, after doing this, as you see, the bot wants you to send your password and name with a specific format as an operator. Well, I type the password that I have set for my bot here. My password can be the same as the password of your bot or it might be different. After the password, we should type underline and now I type my name. I type Mr. Paul Dorf as an example and I enter that. As you see, the bot says that your registration is successfully done. Please wait for admin's confirmation. It means if anyone knows the password of the bot can register itself as an operator, but it must to wait for admin's confirmation. Well, we for confirming the person who has registered as an operator Got to enter into the panel support. In the submenu, we select on the operator confirmation icon. Select the bot. Well, in this field, we can choose the name we have entered into our bot as an operator. And after that, this person can be an admin or a simple user. And at last, push on the add item. The item has been added and now push the save button. After these proceedings, the person who has registered into the bot promotes to admin and the confirmation message would be sent to its Telegram's account. Well, now we can upload the file into our bot. And remember that you got to insert an operator into your bot once forever. Well, I enter into the bot, you see that I can enter into the bot in this way. Perbot has its own features. You can enter into the bot button in this way. Okay, we wanted the about button to send a pic in addition to a text to our users, whenever it would be pushed. So, I enter into the About button setting. I select the photo for content type. Here I can upload a pic. 
I select this pick as an example. The file uploaded successfully. Here you can type a caption for your pick and finally push the edit button. When I say file, I mean any kinds of files, not just a pic. From now go on that you have been set in an operator, you can follow these steps to upload the file and send that to the users. Well, I want to enter into the bot and see the results. The pic you are watching in this step that had been sent to you without doing a special move is shown for the admin for once. But your simple users, after pushing on the About button, can see the pic with its caption in addition to the text. Ok, in the next step I want to create a form builder button. Here you can select them, the same as basic buttons. And you enter. That bot scenes, this version is a free one, so you can't have more than one form builder button. And we have a form builder button in the sub menu. For watching the settings of the button, I select the start button and explain to you the points here. In this part, you choose the button title. Here you choose its sub menu. Here you type a text which appear when your users finish the form. Here you select that how many times a user can complete this form. Just if you choose zero, it means infinite times, and if you select a number, exactly it happens to reach that amount you choose. I skip some of the items. Here you select the button size. You can test that and watch the result in the bot. And here you can choose the auto layout sub menus and the numbers of buttons in a row. The important part of the form builder buttons is here. You can define that whom of the operators you have inserted will receive the results of finishing the forms or the orders. Select the operator you want here and add that to your bot. And you can turn sending the files and maps to recipients on or off. Here you can type the questions for the form or for the shopping order. For example, you want the user's phone number. In this part, you choose that your user must answer in what way, a file, a location or a simple text. Naturally, it must be a simple text. I choose the mobile as the validation type here right now. I have nothing with the length and the mobile does the validation by itself. And here you type the question that the bot asks from your user. For example, please send your phone. And finally, by pushing on that button content, this question would be added to the other questions. And because it was a provided form builder button, we just have added form question title to the other questions, and our users will see the phone option in the questions part. And finally, we select on edit button. I don't want to make the length of this video much longer, just wanted to tell you that the poll button is a similar button to the form builder button and if you have learned the form builder button, you can easily create the poll button. Good luck!